Hello everybody and welcome to Rune the Campaign where we kind of fight everyone at this point and we've already done all of our moves as this is a continuation of the previous previous uh, turn uh, video episode whatever and as I can't see anyone coming from Cannes currently I mean we're not at war or anything like that but um, it's good to just check these things beforehand. Um, we're going to send these units that we've trained in Mataram, and we're going to kind of make a bit of a force here, and then we're going to move in this direction. As you may recall, we did perhaps somewhat foolishly just leave Othelbed, but um, we do have some... We've got Elak here, and he's going to commandeer this force here, and we're going to take back Othelbed, should the Orcs of Mordor take it, because we just really want to be uh, very quickly taking all of these regions. And indeed, then we've also got this place over here, but I don't think we can leave. I don't think we can leave because we need to get that culture up a bit uh, before we can. And uh, we will need someone to actually go and perhaps hold on to that for us. So if we pop in a couple of clansmen there, we can shift them over. And because uh, of course, Dorwinian are still knocking around, but we don't want to take them out. We'd prefer someone else did that for us. Orders. And That's right, fool. It's an enemy let's ship. not get involved in that. I mean, if they attack us, then perhaps. Do we... How many fleets do we have? We've got this Orders. over here, but that is pretty much tied down. And uh... oh, we've got this over here as well. Orders. Let's send you over there, and we can only we can we just use the thirty-six. Orders to ferry troops around because there's no one coming um right and of course we are fighting over here potentially if they attack us and then we are going up against the dwarves now jared the hawk did make a really good comment actually um i don't know if i mentioned it last time but because Loknar rim they do have the flaming missiles if you would you can set a light siege engine so that's another way that we could actually take out uh, dwarven catapults and things like that um, which is quite a nice idea I thought so uh, thanks for the tip and perhaps because uh, fire arrows are not very prevalent in this mod you can uh, perhaps you hadn't thought of that either right well uh, uh, I think we can end the turn okay so Dale have indeed attacked us here at Skarn I kind of thought this would happen and we are going to have a real hard time defending this um to be honest, because 8 and 15, a 4 and 9, these aren't upgraded though. So we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. And if we can catch them off guard, uh, thing is though, we haven't got much in the way of damage dealing. Uh, like we've got no crossbows this time, so these Dalian swordsmen are going to be a real pain. I suspect that the tribesmen will be all that we've got, because this is all pretty heavily damaged. We do have the garrison unit. I think our only hope is to try and kill off their captain. We dance with death this day. It's very, very difficult to actually set up your units effectively here. But I think what we're going to try and do is, of course, take out their archers. If you take out the archers, that's a really big uh, piece of the puzzle there. And uh, that's what we're going to try and do. So we're going to run out with our clansmen. And if we just hold in the town square, not something I usually want to do, but because the AI does have a tendency of pushing into the town square and only then, like, relenting, um, we, we're we going to try that. And actually, these javelin men, if we can get you guys out as well over there, then we can get your javelins in the back. And that would be fantastic. Now, which of you is actually better? 7 and 13, I think they are better, yeah. Um, and also... They will have the benefit of actually being healed if they are the first ones to die. Let's have our captain out the back here. So we're sending these guys out because we really need to get a hold of their missile units. Because we can actually defeat them in melee. And, well, that is the plan anyway. Perhaps if we come like this, then we can properly like get them in here. And we might be able to do some kind of flanking. But yeah, those Northman archers, they need to go down. So, let's go in. Go, go, go. Oh, no. It doesn't necessarily matter that they are shooting at these men. Because we will retain their... Their armor. <laughs> armor? Ammunition. And also, it's not the absolute end of the world that we are to lose here today. But... 
Oh, if the captain's going to be right there. Let's see if we can get him. Let's go right in here. And then attack them. Because they will massacre these bros. Right, let's just pull out a bit. Yeah, you're going to have to come in against those river men, I think. But we have managed to get these... These uh, pincered here. Yeah, come in, in. Come in, in. Come in, come in, come in. Um, yeah, so do we use our javelins up against the Northmen over here? Which I think that would go quite well. Now, what? Oh, they've got Northmen militia there. Oh, they not? I think we go and take them out. I think that's the play. Then we can come round and... Um, really surround these swordsmen if we have not already killed off their captain but i don't think that's going to happen they are holding out reasonably well there but these guys do need support and given the fact that these guys do not have much armor i think that is definitely the way that we do this so if we can just get there really quick as quick as possible can we, can we kill these guys a bit quicker? They're just throwing javelins at us and they're massacring us. We're going to have to uh, hurry on up. Oh, there we go. That is that is exactly what we needed to see. Now, I don't think they're going to run away immediately. But these guys, if they take a few javelins to the back, they might reconsider their loyalties to their king. So that's fantastic. And they've only got two armor. These javelins should absolutely massacre them. Um, so let's target the correct foe. Northman militia. Now let's go for them. And they come. There's 149 of them. I don't like the flashing red. But oh, do not be doing whatever you're doing. Do not start chasing anyone. You need to just hold there for a bit longer. Let these guys get off all the javelins. Look at that. Down to 118. Solid. Really good kills there. And um, I think... I mean, do we just send it? I think we send in our dragon guard now. Because, I mean, we we're in the town square anyway. And... We have lost half of our men. Yes, we have. But, I mean, those 25, I feel like they're getting a lot of kills. But we are now... Well, we've got a few more javelins left. Come on, we need more kills. Perhaps we just throw the last slot into the archers instead. And I wonder, we might have enough power here to kill them off with these tribesmen. Yeah, they're routing. Look at that. Right. Um, thing is, though, if they come back, then we'll be... We'll be in a real pickle. And. Yeah. They're probably going to end up coming back as well. Right. Just go over there then. But if we do start getting shot in from behind. Then that's going to be difficult. But unfortunately we've got no other choice. There's still 110 of those swordsmen. And. Um, yeah. We are actually outnumbered now. I don't see how this is going to go well for us. And, yeah, the archers are coming back and now they're going to start shooting at us. Oh, dear. Well, if we can, if possible, if it is possible to uh, flank all these and get them to rout, they don't have the best of morale. See, look at that, wavering. The enemy are badly Kill bloody. a few. They have lost half their men. If possible. Nice routing. Right, excellent. They're routing. Uh, uh, they're wavering, rather. Excellent. We caught a few of them. Right, come on, javelins. Come on, javelins. I did not expect the javelin men to perhaps be our saviors here. But they could be. Let's just get these to rout. If that's possible. They're wavering. See, these guys have come in. But we've got these routing units. They're giving a bit of an aura. And they're routing as well. Oh, believable scenes here. Right, get these to rout as well. Well, oh, we did 65% of the enemy. We're not going to start chasing them. Nice. Well, let's see how many we can get here. And that's pretty good. And then we'll just charge everyone, I suppose, at... Uh, everyone at the archers. Yeah, 85% on the enemy down. We just need them to rout. 
They're wavering. We've got them in melee. Anything is possible. I mean, not everything. I mean, I feel like we're going to win. The only thing that could stop us now is if we were to lose our captain. Come on. Go in there. Get involved. Stop them from firing. There we go. And that is how it's done. That was uh, pretty, pretty tough. Pretty tough. Let victory be a salve upon our okay, wounds well Okay, thank you, earned. thank you. Um, top kills. I think it was the tribesmen that did it for us. As I said, we didn't have much in the way of the uh, damage dealers. But actually, the clansmen and the tribesmen did the most, really. Considering that they took out the archers, which is their damage dealers. And then these guys just routed everyone after throwing all their javelins. Although, actually... Killing off the captain was the most significant part, probably. So, we just got rid of that one army, and now it does look like we are being attacked in Condovan as well. Um, if it now, if it's not a significantly difficult one, I will just fight this off screen because... Yeah, I'm going to fight this off screen because this is... Um, I mean, this is not... A very difficult battle we've obviously got damage dealers this time we've even got a garrison unit and just to keep this uh, campaign ticking along i don't want it to have too many battles because i know that some of you d just skip ahead to the uh, finale if you like so um see you in a second we shall end this day in our enemy flees before us like a herd of goats Driving and just like that we've I mean, it was actually a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But, um, wait, did we already get the win thing? I totally spaced out there. Are these, these, these are routing. And, yeah, we can, we can exit the battle. Nice! Yeah, we definitely lost a lot more than I thought we were going to. But that is just because they've all got, like, seven points of armor. And our archers do absolutely zero damage and they even turned around and then threw their javelins at us which wasn't very nice but uh, the crossbows actually are the only thing that does anything against them nice good turn there i didn't think that we'd be able to hold on to both of those uh merchant's guild in Mer uh, yeah okay sure and it looks like mordor have indeed left othelabed over there so that opens the door for us to come in and smash him and uh, before we do that though let's just make sure that we are a yes we do indeed have the movement range available and they've got nothing in there what fools are oh, there's Zagar there and uh, what does he come with he comes with a temple marksman they are very good in in both melee and missile capabilities so let's just build up some rams and I think we'll go straight on in there and try and rush him with um, actually our general is pretty good against this variant because um, yeah they don't do quite so much melee damage but they do still do quite a lot but their total defense is lower than the temple wards. I think they've got like 28 or something ridiculous. So with them having 17 armor, we can take off about 8 or 9 of that. Uh, making that much more manageable, about 14. Um, so, uh, 13 or 14. We did lose some money, but... <laughs> I've already put in all the construction before I started recording. So it's all queued up nicely. So, um, well, we can have a quick flick around. We're trying to get this place to build up. Now, uh, it would be very easy to get a leather tanner there, but I'm, I, there's, um, you know, we're going to be recruiting most of our units from Strendost, or a lot of, and Santanwi, so, and it's already at tier 3, so as soon as this comes up for a renewal, <laughs> when I can upgrade it, it will be very, very quick to do so. So this guy, Yaban, is on his way up here. And uh, perhaps we'll pop a watchtower. Oh, wow. We own all of this. Okay. Well, the dwarves didn't fancy their chances here. But I feel like I feel like we could do something here. Rather than going into Stronghold, what could we take away from this that would 
think, you know, that they would then think that they've got more of a chance. This isn't cheesing or anything. This is just actually helping them. Like, we, we don't necessarily have the tools capable to, uh... Like, is that enough? I feel like... Wait, so we've got one, two, three... Uh, four, five, six units on the front line. How many units of infantry? They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the catapult. I think... I think we can give it a go. If not, then let's just have a look around here. Nothing's coming from the south currently. I mean, that's Dale, so... Nothing's coming from over there. The thing is, though, we do have paved roads here. How may I serve? And with paved roads, you never know what is coming up. So we're going to we're gonna give it a chance there. We may as well build up some... Oh, these are actually completely useless against a dwarven stronghold because you can't mount the walls. So we'll just get that just in case, but I don't see us ever auto-resolving against that because dwarves are very good in auto-resolve, meaning that we'll probably lose... Uh, no matter what. And um, what am I doing here? I think I'm just building up another force. I think that is what I'm doing. Or are we sending some of these up north? Like We can certainly do with some more crossbows to go up north. If we have an extra... Yes, noble master. Or we could put one in here. That would help a lot. In terms of defending... But uh, yeah, we've got loads of units, so let's keep let's keep pushing them north. We're just sending them up there to basically get killed um, at this point. And these guys need to be ferried. Where did our ferry go? There's a 36. There we go. Nice. And uh, we'll take all of them. Now we've got a decision. We could send them north, or we could send them south. I think I'm going to send them south because, oh sorry, north rather getting all mixed up here because um, I think the south is A-OK. -okay. We're going to have our best units here anyway. And this merchant's kind of been left behind. Go in there. Get trained up. Right then. Right then. Right then. This is a reasonably big battle. But oh yes, we're going to see the Udej Marines. I am really keen to see how they look. Let's just have a look at what they've got. They've got a unit orc band. Um, might try and just take him out immediately with uh, our dragon riders there. And then apart from that, then they've got orc raiders. Trash. Slightly better. Orc coast, but nevertheless, pretty trash. Orc maulers. Armor piercing. Their orc archers are reasonably good. Um, they've actually got a one point in shield as well. Um, Moranning guard. But then we've got two units of black uruks. They're probably the only thing majorly that we need to look out for. But we've even got Dragon's Wrath Skillsmen. So, the enemy. They're coming towards us. See, I never know. Should I start the video? Even though, <laughs> you know, they might just... Um, they might just run away. So, we're going to go to here. Something I did learn from the... Uh, from the uh, previous Gondor video was okay this is going horrendously i want thing is i want to keep it in a group because otherwise the general will start doing a walkabout and he'll go into the middle uh because that's just how it goes so we'll go to that but yeah in the gondor video basically i rushed the high ground and then all of my archers which was essentially all of my damage for that army they were kind of nullified because they can't really shoot uphill especially when they're really close to the line so we've kind of screwed there and we are getting shot at as well but we've got plenty of we've actually got plenty of armor but no we're just gonna go straight on in there right everyone attack we're not hanging around if they're gonna be doing oh we've got pipes there and another unit of pipes up against orc maulers that's okay and uh, well we massively outnumber all these and general go in there. Massive, massive overkill on that behalf. Right, and let's bring the Adej Marines over. Bring them over here first. Are you guys already firing? You should be. Just fire in. Where's the... Uh, that is the captain. Come and fire at these. So, dragon guard, knights, whatever you are. Dragon riders, come on over here. We want to be careful with our chariots because they are very susceptible to... Arrow fire. 
so we got Dragon's Wrath Guildman here. Four fights with horns made of clay. Not maybe the we best. Winning the battle. Best fight for them, going up against armor-piercing halberdiers. But I mean, they'll do pretty well. Do not be firing at will. Just come and fight what. Come and fire at what I want you to fire at. Um, but of course, these guys can also fire, so that's pretty cool. Maybe just fire at them. Yeah. Right, you come over here. It's the 252 Orc Band. Now, I don't know which one it is. Right, you come on over here. I think it's probably this one here. But, like, our general is going to annihilate all of that, even though they've got Orc Maulers. Right, but we want to get our Dej Marines to throw their Naptha. Who should we fire at? Should we fire at these first? I don't know how good their how good their accuracy is. That's the thing. Right, you come over here, and uh, it looks like we've absolutely annihilated everything here. You have taken some damage, but it doesn't really matter. You know, they're there to actually fight. They are they're doing their job. They are getting kills, and even though. You know, it's a very elite unit and you don't want to lose them. Like, what else are you going to use them for? Now, can you... Perhaps we could squeeze you through here. Because I don't want to risk... Getting loads of... Uh, friendly fire, particularly on the Gamp Rim. Because they are a unit that... Uh, would... Uh, do quite well in not taking damage. Because that's kind of their job. Right, we're getting kind of chased over here, so our cavalry is not doing a whole lot. Um, right, you just stay there. That is the orc band that we're trying to get at. And, okay, they've all routed. They've all routed. Right, you know what? Cavalry, just go after them. And uh, you men come over here. So that plan has kind of backfired, but we are going to get... The enemy are we are going to get this sorted. Lost half their men. Right, Dragon's Wrath Guildman, come over here. You're still firing. Fire at these. Nice. Right. Okay. Here we go. Oh, don't fire at me. Or these. Right. Here we go. This is it. Let's see how much damage they do. This is going to be very interesting. Oh my god. What a what a graphic. I mean, it looked like they got a kill. <laughs> and they just instantly route. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay. Um... Right. I don't know really what else to make of that. Other than that was glorious. I think we could just charge in here. Let's charge in and they'll run away. And, uh... Should we, should we try and see if we can get more? No, I think everything's routing. I feel like the... the Because um, they're also armor-piercing. I feel like the chance of getting friendly fire is extremely high with them. But uh, they've got a lot of armor... So, despite the fact that they were just getting shot at by a lot, they uh, were able to uh, hold off on all that quite well. Well, yeah, everything's kind of dead now. So, uh, maybe you just go and scare them off. And General as well, come on over here. And uh, we'll run them down. Oh, we've got Orc Raiders over there that have come back. You go and sort them out. Well, these seven Orcs here, I think they're going to get away. <laughs> And in come the firebombs, and down they go. Wow, that was that was pretty accurate. They seem to have some like AOE effect, definitely. Um, I think we can leave it there. We only got 87% of them because we're actually kind of rubbish at chasing units down. Uh, cavalry, come on over here. Come and get these out. But I thought that was very interesting to see how uh, how those uh, what they called those marines did. Certainly better than the Lebeni marines, in my opinion. Uh, but perhaps not quite as good at taking down uh, Mumikil and things like that. Like sweet uh, right! Let us Let's have a look at these the kills then. Obviously, a bodyguard massacred loads of orcs. 220 dragon guard, 269 Daratai warriors. I mean, this is kind of to be expected. We are way better. And the Adej marines, they killed 46. They only actually really got a couple of volleys. And I think they can do that to pretty much any unit. Um, be they dwarves, like heavily armoured dwarves, I'd imagine they'd get a lot of kills against any of them. And even our chariots, you know, they were just there for the morale shock. The enemy and in many ways, actually, Rune are a much better faction 
Like, they're much uh, better equipped into fighting particularly evil factions because they've got a lot of these kinds of morale lowering units like the general is then you've got uh dragon's wrath guildsman you've got the chariots uh things like that that's a lot of tools at your disposal right so if he's going for austin route then i think this army then um i mean there's this place over here or i think i think i think Right, so if we're kind of gearing up this, like, force over here at Burma and Arrakis, if they're going to go for that, then uh, we're going to come down here. I forgot what it's called. I think it's Dorthaloo. Yes. We're going to come down here and make sure then Lagarth is safe, as is Marland, and um, potentially then cut off any reinforcements that come for Austin Eru. Right then, also, oh, we've got Uldor the Inquisitor. Uldor the Inquisitor, he could, uh, I think we're going to have to take this force out as well. And um, given the fact that we've already fought Mordor in a very similar battle, I think just like, as I've already said, um, we might skip a few of these just so we get a bit further along. But in here, we've only got Black Uruks. That is the captain this time, so they'll stick around a bit longer. Um, it didn't help him in the last battle, though. And then they've got Orc Coast and Moran and Guard. I honestly think this is going to be very, very easy. We shall all find a way to an honorable... And didn't I say that the Black Rooks being the captain probably wouldn't really matter? They are the last ones to actually be around, as everyone else have routed. We have well and truly divided and conquered here. And... Um, yeah, we've we've played the game as intended. And it's all thanks to the fact that Candice Raiders are just absolutely fantastic unit. And uh, they're shaking. I wonder if they'll just route if we come on in here. They're not very good at charging, but uh, wavering. I'm sure they'll run away very, very shortly. Let's just speed it up. And actually, let's bring in the Dragon Guard just to run them down. We're at 93%. And they run away. We don't need to go any further. We lost 66 men in that. And Candish Hunters, Raiders even, looking at all of them with pretty much all of them at triple figures. Exactly what you want to see. And we will execute them. And given the fact that we only lost 66 men, it's looking very, very good for us. Just keep on going with our full stack. And uh, we've got the scout here, the spy, and we've got a view of another small army there. But Seragos did the, is the prize, and you can see that they are actually recruiting some of these uh, Black Uruks, which, if they're commanded by an actual general, they will present a bit of a, a bit of a problem for us, especially if they're within the walls there. But I think. Um, because it is an orcish settlement. I think you can get in there with just the baluster. You can just knock down the gate there with that. So uh, how many turns? We're one, two, three turns away. Of course, we do get a negative movement trait when you're in Mordor for pretty much every single faction. So one for enemy lands, minus 5%. But I think we, yeah, Mordor's ash, minus 15%. That is a lot. So he's a warrior cleric. Oh, interesting. Oh, the Inquisitor. As I already said. I don't know why I keep saying it like that. But I will continue until now. Because I will now stop. Right. Um, yes. What else is there to do? We've, of course, uh, recruited loads of units. And getting some more golden boys in there. And you're finished recruiting. Orders. You're going to come down here with those units. I mean, yeah, you could get chainmail. So plus one on you, plus one on you. Should we send you up there? Should we? We should have actually retrained. Oh, because we're already recruiting. That's probably why. Uh, so we'll retrain those two units. Because uh, that is where they will get even more armor. They'll go up to 13 defense, which is smashing. And we're just waiting on this to grow. Dale keep on coming. I'm okay for them to uh, bring more units over while we just build up a build up a force. That's a okay with me because we'll take them down all the same. Orders. And then, How may I serve? um, what was I gonna do? Do we have some? Orders. Do we have some crossbows here? Do we have serve. some crossbows here? Because I did say I was gonna get some crossbows for Scarn. 
Well, we may as well just build something for Scarn. We could get a militia armory, get us two units. And, you know, I am kind of on the side of doing that. How's the culture? It's at 20%. And at what point can we actually recruit? 25. 25. I mean, it's a couple more turns that we can get clansmen, but... You know, I'm just going to... There's, It's not worth that. It's not worth building a building for six turns. We might only get use out of it for, like, an extra five turns on top of that. I have... Orders. Did they not go for it? Oh, no, How it's still I the serve? same turn. How yes, it is. I right, well, we may as well just give it another end turn and see what happens. Born Ostra built. That was very quick. 86... Actually, it's not really that quick, is it? We've just really been flying through these turns. Matter I'm getting the Merchant's Guild, I'm okay with that. We'll get that uh, because it's going to make loads of money, especially once we take Saragost. Just having a look. Oh. Yes, oh, that is a big army. That is a big army. Let's go and have a look at what they've got. Because if they've got a load of trash there, oh, that's pretty trash. That's pretty trash. I reckon we could beat that. But we're going to need these guys to come down here. Because once we've taken that, we're going to take some casualties. And we will need to replenish the numbers if we're going to move forward. Or if they send any more forces towards us. Because, of course... You know, the uh, Mordor is like the biggest faction in this game right now. Uh, although they don't hold Osgiliath, they did take Minas Tirith, although it's currently under siege. So perhaps us actually attacking has allowed Gondor to somewhat recover. And um, let's see. What is it you wish to yeah, discuss? our reputation is not that great because I just went to war and I think we still had trade rights with Mordor and things like that. But if we can get an alliance... I don't think they're going to take this, but give them map info as well. No, we uh, We'll try again next well, time and perhaps give them money. Farewell. We need maybe to get that to um, very generous. So loads of stuff there, and I think I've already queued all of that. So less, though, we can put some more of our golden units, and we've got more that have come available here get the catapult get the ballista and um yeah how close are you to being upgraded oh he's still about 400 away for a plus one defense bonus to their armor i don't really want to spend the time because it's going to take them two turns just to get over there three then to get retrained and then it's going to take like five six turns to make it to here you know in that time i could have killed them off and trained another Order. unit so we're just going to bring him straight down here and uh i mean let's have a look at varfest there's only two units in there but let's see yes, if we could just take this, this. we can't unfortunately auto resolve this um because we we might actually lose so uh, I think what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and split them up. So we'll take out the reinforcing army, which is going to come kind of from be from the right. It's going to come from the right. Not one of us shall fail to give all. Our foe brings so more the they battle. come from over there. Okay. Well, that doesn't matter too much. Who's got a shield? Do we have anyone with a shield that I don't really care about? Um, no, not really. We want to keep hold of the dragon guard. I suppose these guys, javelin men. So, um, you, drop the ram. Because so we're going to be needing them to take out the uh, Nazgul. So you go over there, take that ram, and then you're going to knock down this gate. And we're going to go on in there. But we are going to send some forces just to take out, take out those reinforcing units. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you in a hot minute. Their archers are way ahead of their other two units, so, I mean, that's pretty pleasant for us, allowing us just to charge on in there with our meager, meager cavalry. So, pull back out, and they're already, they've just been absolutely massacred there in that charge. Look at that. And uh, probably with this, they're going to rout, yeah. So, what else do they have? They've got the Black Rooks, and then they've got the Halberdiers over there. 
So we brought... I don't think our general is even required here. So let's just bring him back over here. I think our two warrior units and the crossbows are probably going to be okay for dealing with all of that. So you just do that. If you can catch them, that would be great. And um, we'll see what damage we can do with... Are you, are you not firing? Are you not in range? Perhaps if we just do that. And uh, perhaps now you can fire. Yeah, now they're firing. Okay, but we're having some issues with actually capturing them. Our ram is almost in position. And we do have to be wary of the fact that they do actually fire armor-piercing arrows. The steel Numenorean war bows. And then steel arrows, presumably. So uh, we'll come up to here and then we'll knock on the door and say, uh, say hello. The gates have fallen. The gates have fallen. We are somewhat getting chased uh, by our cavalry here. Or with our cavalry. Because the enemy doesn't like the fact that we're, we have cavalry. So they're just, rather than anything else, they're just going straight for that. Right. Um, so, what else do they have? They've got the Moranin Guard. And then they've got those. We're going to send in the Dragon Guard pronto. Straight in there. From that... Uh, location. These guys are going to go around that side. And another unit of Dragon Guard. Where should we send these? We are Let's just the send them in there and think of it afterwards. Oh, if you could just take them out. Because I don't understand how they're still knocking around. So take them out. If you could. And how's this going? Okay, so we've taken them into melee actually don't even bother with the crossbows they're just gonna take way too long so come over here and you can shoot at the halberdiers but anything else it's just gonna take way too long here's our other unit of interception so you come on over here i think i think just the charge in here will will suffice so that's all we're gonna do because you know it will take at least three or four volleys to get them to run away with the crossbows so this will work just fine I think in they come in they come steady there's 102 of them notice how they've actually got a lot more mass they didn't they, they kind of held off the cavalry quite well there but yeah down goes their captain and uh, they're routing right crossbows just form up into a line as well and then we'll get you just to do something in this battle, I suppose. Right, General. Oh, that's someone that we should probably run in there with. Right, attack them. Temple Guard. Golden Boy's over here actually taking a bit of arrow fire, but we'll soon get that sorted out. And um, our General, then, if you'd like to come on over here, that would be grand. Right, crossbows fire and uh, we'll go in with our infantry as well just do a bit of a sandwich in there get our elephants out of the way because they're probably well, they're not quite in the range of fire nice first first volley and right we are stuck in the melee what we'd really need to do though is actually encapsulate them so we're going to send these guys all the way around as well. Because in a straight one-on-one, -on -one, we'll get beaten. We'll get beaten pretty soundly. So, and these guys might take a while to actually kill off the Moranin Guard. But damn, they look cool. This is what they look like when they're upgraded. So if you can remember what they look like without the upgrade, there's a very, very minor difference. But it is one of the few differences you get with Rune and their armor upgrades that they get these pauldrons here. So you don't get quite the same scar. But they do look really cool. So, oh, look at that. 205 there. We've taken a few losses, but that was purely to arrow fire, I think. And these these folks the over here, they should be on uh, passive or defensive, sorry. So they won't be quite as offensive. But, I mean, actually, it looks like they're fighting reasonably well. But, um, yeah. Armor piercing, though. We are getting aided by that. And I've kind of forgotten what's happening over here. Right, you can just stop. 
and uh, you can as well. And uh, what shall we do? We'll just send in, rather than sending in the cavalry, we'll just send in the warriors. It's a much, it's a much easier time for them because actually, you know, the cavalry can get caught up there and just get stabbed off their high horse. And um, we'll keep these guys just on hand. And indeed, whilst I was uh, sorting my dog out because he was being a pain, um, yeah, we did actually <laughs> route them. Right, so that's all done. Uh, how are we doing over here? I think we've got that one unit on his way and our general. Uh, he is prepared for war now, so that's excellent. Although these guys, these guys are losing out a little bit, so um, I don't really know what we could do to help them, other than just come in and sandwich them. They might, like we, all of our units are quite far away. Perhaps we'll just bring in the crossbows because if they do break through there, then we can fire at them from behind, and that's a great way to get rid of some of them. Dragon guard almost here, and I think. Um, well, I think these guys need more help. They're, in fact, shaken already. So, we prefer stirred over here. So, we can run over here. They've, they've done a lot of running. They have done a lot of running. And we'll just send the general kind of round here. So, we can kind of get involved as well. That'll be fantastic. Enemy are badly bloodied. In comes the rear charge. Oh, no. They're not charging. Okay, now they are. But as you can see, they've done really well, the Dragon Guard have. And um, that charge didn't take any of them out. But yeah, they've uh, taken a lot of them. I'll be intrigued to see what their stats are, but they are really losing out now. So I think I think we'll just take them out. Because, yeah, if we can hold on to a few of them, we'll have our, uh, we'll have our crossbows come in here shortly. In fact, let's, let's just, as we've got them, oh, they've actually routed. As we've got the javelins here, we may as well throw a couple of them in, in there. There's 42 of them left. Perhaps we can get a good solid throw all the way over here at the Moranin Guard that are getting chomped down now, well and truly. Perhaps not wise, but we'll give it, we'll give it a single volley here with the javelins. I feel like that's probably doing more damage to us than it is to them. And actually, let's just send them into melee. We'll just... We'll just... Uh, what's it? We'll stun lock them to death. There's only 20 of them left. And we'll send our general in as soon as we've dealt with all of this. One, two, three of the Lope Flag Rim still remain. Nice number there. And, um, yeah, I mean, this Moranic Guard is completely... They, they are not a match for our golden boys at all right that's all done send you over here to make sure that all of these forces don't just get annihilated by the Nazgul nice the dragon guard did it our general didn't actually do anything there he was he was more there just for moral support and actually very very unusual that the Nazgul was not the last one to go down but we did lose 223 men and I think yeah, most of it was the Dragon Guard, but look at that. They they did get 45 of the Temple Marksmen down in a one-on-one, -on -one. so that's that's pretty... I'd say that's commendable, because they definitely cost, like, three times more. Or, I don't know, maybe maybe not. Um, I don't actually know. But uh, one, 202 for the Lake Flag Rim. They single-handedly sorted out all of those Moran Guard, as expected, and the rest of it is kind of meh. And we'll execute them, and down goes another Nazgul. Wow. We're really clearing them out. Gothmog as well last time. And uh, as this is Ravanian area, we are, of course, only going to occupy. Because we are doing this for our newly acquired subjects. Get rid of the Brawler's Pit. That does nothing. The deal was that... Now that we've taken Dorwinian's lands, they would agree to work for us in the trade, uh, provided that we take their old lands back from the Defilers, and that is what we've done. We pop a Dark Sanctuary there, and um, 
we'd really want to see more of this land. Do we have... Oh, we've got a spy in here, actually. My ears. Spy, come down here. Um, We'll come down in this direction. So a Dorthaloo is there anyway, so that's fine. But I'd be very intrigued to see what is in Barbest, if there's anything in there at all. And uh, Burr is going to have to march out very shortly with a force. This is getting very close now to being upgraded. Um, and rather than actually doing the calculation to see like how many turns that's going to be, I think it's going to be about three turns. So we're going to put that in there. Two. And then, obviously, the big thing is, with large towns, is then you can get golden boys from them. As we are doing here with Lest. So, all of these How units... Oh, they've, they've I already serve? moved. Okay. So, they're going to come down here. And actually, we've got a much better army there. And, yeah, that's going to be pretty much a full stack. So, in conjunction with this... Whereas, I'd really kind of want to just have... Oh, yeah, and this can be upgraded. I'll do that. Totally forgot about that. But we need to throw some clansmen in there. We march. And I'm honored to serve. Yeah, you come down here. At once. Tomorrow and then we'll need some waits. forces to come down Order. over here to garrison. We so we put those two units in there. And the then perhaps journey. we'll put these Order. guys over there. Although this is going to need a bit more of a garrison for a time because cause it, it's boring a lot of nasty people. So, yeah, pop those two things in there. I think that'll be snazzy. And Carverad as well, what shall we queue up in here? I get the feeling perhaps Dark Temple could be okay. Help it grow and then um, communal farming. Nothing much going on here. Uh, you know what? Just pop them in as well. Pop them on in. Anything good in here? Yeah, just get all the golden boys. Nice. Two more there. Two more in there. And how are we doing over here? I mean, I would like to... Oh, if they are on max, then we'll take you. And these guys, yeah, these are definitely going up there. Because, oh dear lord, they've got King Bran there. You're not going to make it, but... But, we can get mercenaries will take them all so because it is a town they won't be able to take it anyway no in one way. turn so they'll if they At besiege once, it then we'll we go in there with these guys which by the way they're not amazing but they're like two-handed spears effectively and uh cell swords they are actually very good um we'll send them in and we'll be able to take him out because they've got hearth guard which are insanely good archers armor piercing i think they've got like seven missile attack and they fire really quickly because they are bows but um hmm right what do you have more axe throwers i think Yes, we'll order, need... Order. We're going to put those four in there. Because if they come in with that, then I think we might struggle. Let's have a look if there's anything more coming. Can't see anything else. Come down here, because there is some day uh, units there. So we want to be wary of that. I think we'll be okay. Let's end the... I think we can end the turn. Condavan's still doing Condavan things. So, Condovan has once again been besieged, and they got Hawkon, or Hakon, I suppose, because it's not got... They are upgraded, all of them. I do not see a world in which we went, like, even the general is upgraded. Where are they getting all this really good OP armor? It's not just one or two points, it's like six. <laughs> These guys gave from two to nine. Which would actually make it seven. It's obscene. Oh no, these goes from two to two to six uh to eight, so that's six, yeah. It's really, really powerful. Um we do have the crossbows, we can maybe get a few kills. But hmm. Most of us will see the sun set again. I really don't see how we can win this. I really do not. Other than the fact that if they just run in here. If they just run in here, then let's send all of our men in that gap. Plug the gap. 
And we're in loose formation here. Because I thought they were going to, you know, do what they should really be doing if they had a brain. But they don't. They have a computer controlling them. So we're just going to plug in here and then try and see how many kills we can get with our crossbowmen. That's kind of it. So, Candice Raiders, whatever you are. Hunters, you go right there. Do not be in loose formation because you suck. And you just take up loads of space. But if we could just get these crossbows over here. Think of how many kills we could get if we can hold out for a really long time. Now, of course, they might just turn around and then um, wreck us. So, always check yourself before you wreck yourself, gang. Uh, but you're just going to stay there. Maybe shoot over the top. Do whatever you can. But, I mean, you're not really going to be getting any kills. These are the only things that are going to get any kills at all. The last time, they got... What was it? 100 kills? They're going to need like 200 this time. Um, but for that to happen, they need to be basically empty their quivers. Uh, but this is very satisfying to watch, I must say. If we had two units doing this, or even a full unit, then um, this might be a different story. Perhaps if you shoot into that, you'll get even more kills. Um, so, I mean, that's kind of it. I mean, 10% of the enemy is down. And we're somehow managing to miss. But we are, look at that. We are actually getting kills. We are actually getting kills. And we've still got 173 there. Our general is alive. We might be able to hold on. But they are slowly getting whittled away. So there is that too. Um, we'll see what happens. I do have a strong feeling of impending doom at this point. And that we're not going to be able to... I mean, we've got a lot of ammunition still, but we'd need to be able to take out that general. I don't think it's going to happen, but we have made them pay for this victory. Now, what we can still do is put our captain back in there and then see how many volleys we can get off. Because as long as he's still, you know, about, then we can keep on firing. But we're about out of ammunition anyway. And this is pretty much the dream scenario. We wouldn't have got many more kills if we tried. Because, like, we're getting all this crossfire as well. I mean, we could get them closer. But I didn't think that we'd be able to even hold on for even this long. Are we looking? We're shaken. As soon as I see that waver, then uh, we're going to go back with our general. Yeah, we'll retreat to the uh, town square with our captain. Although we are out of ammunition now. We cannot get any more kills. It's been a valiant defense. And we have killed a lot of them. But uh, sadly, that is as far as we were able to go. Here, let's just uh, send these folks into melee. I mean, it's sad to see it happen, but... They should only occupy it, and it is only a village. It doesn't It doesn't actually provide us... It's actually costing us money to hold it. Um, but we are building up the culture, and it's not going to go away. Oh, no, we're not, are we? Because you can't build a culture building in a, in a village. But we really need to send some good armor-piercing units up there, because they have just got so much defense, because somehow they've got all these upgraded blacksmiths. Presumably in Dale, that must be... Must be it. Can we hurry up and, hurry up and lose? Death there we go. Have come to sup at our table. I wouldn't say it's a clear defeat. Visit again for but look time. at that. Crossbowman with 233 kills. Like, that is... Yeah, if we had another unit of them, we, we could well have won that. And that is why you want crossbows in defensive sieges. Our watch. Um, so the dwarves also attacked us here. Oh, we've am wait, we've ambushed them. Oh no, no, we haven't. Um, let's just withdraw and then see. Okay, they do actually want to attack us. See if it was. <laughs> oh, dwarves. Um. Well, whatever. Let's just go give it a go. We dance with death this day. 
the hammer's thrown, but oh, down goes the general. I think that's probably going to be it. I mean, if we can take down the baluster, then that's pretty cool, but they're going to get that healed back as well. So, yeah, the general's gone, and the Erebor infantry, they've come in and charge us in the back, and then these guys are routing. Just, just, just withdraw. Everyone just with... Oh, no, you can't, can you? Oh, that's annoying. Because we've already withdrawn. Oh, well. They've almost routed us. Come on, run away. Run away. We'll retain some of our units if you just run away now. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we didn't get any kills. <laughs> we are going to decline the ransom. We don't need those units anyway. They're only spearmen. Um, there's a reason they weren't in our army. And uh, baggage train lost. Yeah, it's not it's not ideal, but nor do we particularly care because it's not that important. Merchant skill, yeah, we'll take it in Osteneru. They are actually already coming for us uh, with a heavily damaged army there. Let's come down with the spy. Let's just have a look. Dorthalu is a town. They've got Sauron's will there, but no way are they getting loads of those units. So I think we'll be okay. For a time, for a time, they will eventually actually start recruiting them, but they only get them from, I think, Baradur itself. Now, we do not have the movement range required. Let's just go to there. I do not believe that they would have more than that. No, I think that's everything. And I think we can defeat them. Next turn, we will have the movement range anyway to go on in there. So let's send in our reinforcements. We are going to leave it there for now. But let's just have a look around. So this is what remains. Let's just merge them. Well, we kept about half of it. I was really hoping they'd come and attack us here. I'm really disappointed that they didn't because, like, there's no way we can go in there. Like, oh, dwarves, eh? But we're going to be able to take out King Bran next time. But indeed, we did lose Condavan. Eventually, they, they just grinded us down. But it is only a village. Um, But this force over here is pretty much... Like, it's pretty a-okay okay to go. So we can go out with somewhat of a of an army maybe next turn we'll get those two units there and then we'll go it's almost a full stack and we can send some units from over here too in fact we will do that so yeah next turn we'll have a big army we'll go and take this town talathang first and then we will think about going back for condovan if not for marlinge but that is for next time so thank you very much for watching and uh, i hope that you have a very nice weekend um, but I'm going with Gandalf. Good day.